um, to my guest room because the lighting is just a little bit better in here. Um, goodness gracious, I look so tired. Anyway, I wanted to kind of show you the finished product. I was getting tired of fighting the light in my loft. So this is it. Um, covered. And then the inside. You can see it's got Michelle Obama. And then I placed these cute little stickers throughout um, the notebook um, because I just thought they were adorable so on random pages you'll see like a little sticker probably what I'll also do is just go through and write little quotes or Bible verses or probably like maybe I might even just like type them up so it's a little bit neater and kind of place them as I go through um, so this is my first shot at it I do love the outcome it's very cute I wouldn't mind whipping this out writing a little note in it um, I did put the little divider, as I said, in the middle. There's another little sticker. Um, and I just took a couple of sheets of paper and then folded it and glued it on both sides. Really for sake of time, um, I think in the future, this was, a, this was a pretty easy project, you know. In the future, I will probably paint it to um, see how that would come out. And I will use laminated... Um, dividers and things like that but I think I would do that if it was a more um, a book that I would probably use on a more daily basis as I was going through it I edited out a lot of my ideas because I was thinking I don't want to spend too much on a notebook that is just like a jotted notebook that I'm gonna throw in my bag and whatever the case may be the idea of this was to keep it really cheap really simple so I guess at the end um, a couple bucks for the paper, four dollars for the book, you know, the material I had around my house, but you could probably buy like two yards of material at Walmart for like 97 cents if you go to the scrap section. Um, glue, you could have just used a regular glue stick, no need for a craft one, so that's like what, 99 cents? Um, and then like little clippings from a magazine or whatever, so this could easily be done for under ten dollars um, or just right at ten dollars which is about the price you would pay for maybe a basic personalized notebook but as I said in the beginning and you may may not hear it because I'm gonna edit this video anyway um, these books can be about ten to fifteen dollars sometimes more expensive depending on how much personalization that you put um, into these books. So don't go out and spend like $20, $30 on materials to make the most fabulous book in the world. You might as well buy one for all of that. But um, if you're going to break even, have a little fun doing like a hobby type thing and come out with a personalized notebook, go for it because this notebook won't be able to be found anywhere else because it's specific to me, which I love. So um, have fun and take a picture let me see what you do uh, like I said again this was my first stab at it, it came out pretty good um, considering and I think I'll maybe make a couple more just for fun and for practice to see um, what works what works better what doesn't work things like that so in the meantime yay bye